Hello guys, in this video we are going to turn LED on and off wirelessly basically through Wi-Fi and I'm going to use EPS8266 node MCU module and let's see how to connect it to the computer and program it. Let's go. First of all, you need to install the drivers for it and you can find the drivers online. For installing drivers, go to Google and search CP2102 USB to UART Bridge Controller. You need this driver. Without it, your computer won't recognize the device. Let's go to the first link which is from SI Labs, Silicon Labs and here let's go to downloads under downloads install this driver which says CP2210X Universal Windows Driver click here it will start the download and then you need to unzip it and install it. Now, after installing it, go to Arduino Development Kit and go to File, Preferences, and Additional Boards Manager. Under Additional Boards Manager, you need to enter this link which is in the description below and click OK. Then go to Tools, Manage Libraries and search ESP8266. You will see ESP8266 by ESP8266 community. You need to install that and after that close the window. After that go to Tools, Board and you will see ESP8266 boards here and I'm using Node MCU so I will select that and I chose upload speed 15200 this is important now let's connect Node MCU to the computer as you can see it's connected and there's blue light on it now let's go ahead and start coding before coding, let's set up the Node MCU in Arduino software. Let's go to Tools and Boards. Here you will see ESP8266 Boards option. I'm using Node MCU 1.0 version, so I selected that. Then you will see all these options, and I selected the upload speed 15200. You should select that. I recommend that you should select it. And uh, you could select and test other options, whichever your board supports. But this one worked for me. Then we need to select the port. As, as you can see, COM6 is already selected. If you want to check if the correct port is selected or not, then you can press windows plus r and type dvemgmt.msc press enter and after that go to ports and silicon lab software that we installed uh, it shows here and it is connected to com6 it means our node mcu is connected at com6 so the current port is selected and let's start coding now. So here's the complete code and you can download the file from the description below. First of all we included the library which supports our board node MCU and uh, then we set the constant SSID and password which is your Wi-Fi ID and password 
you need to connect the board with the Wi-Fi network and control the board with this other device which is connected to the same network so you need to remember that and enter the code appropriately and then in Wi-Fi server select the port number I selected 80 you can change it to 88 and after that since I selected the upload speed 15200 I entered it here there is a delay of 10 ticks thousand ticks is equal to one second and there is a delay of 10 ticks over here and we are using pin 0 and pin 2 which is GPIO 0 and GPIO 2 and on your board that actually should be D3 and D4 pin if you are using node MCU like me so you need to remember that rest all that is for serial monitor it gives the output of the current connected device it gives the out if it shows if it is connected to the Wi-Fi or not if there is any error and all the, all of that then there is a delay of 500 ticks means half a second it will here in the loop it will retry connecting to the Wi-Fi again and again here we declared GPIO1 and GPIO2 these will help us to turn the LED on and off we are using two pins but we need only one because we, we are only turning one LED on and off you can control two using this code you can add more over here and this is a complete code so here it gives the output on the LEDs and yes this is a complete code so let's compile from here and so it will start compiling the code then once the compilation is complete click here on this arrow on the top left to upload the code to the board and that's it now you're all set to control the device all right the compilation is complete now uh, the code is also uploaded to the board let's test it initially the LED will be off and uh, as soon as we go to the URL the LED will turn on and then we need to go to another URL to turn it off as I showed you in this code we declared these indexes but you need to check for the IP address of the board it should already be connected to Wi-Fi but how would you know what is the IP of your board so that you can control it let's go to tools serial monitor and I'm going to disconnect the board and let's connect it again after pressing the reset button I got all these informations the Wi-Fi is connected the server is started this is the IP address of the board let's copy this IP address and we are going to use the D4 pin which is actually GPIO2 and we connected one wire to D4 and another wire to ground pin of our board we connected one wire to D4 pin and the other wire to ground pin of the board and then I connected ground pin to negative terminal of the LED and uh, D4 pin to positive terminal of the LED okay we have our IP address here let's copy the IP address and go to Google Chrome make sure your device is connected to the same Wi-Fi as your node MCU 
Now paste your IP address forward slash GPIO1 slash zero. It will turn on the LED as it says GPIO1 is now high and to turn it off type in GPIO1 slash one and it will turn the LED off. So here is how it works. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did give it a thumbs up and if you have any suggestion or any request let me know in the comments below thanks for watching see you in the next video